destiny remains our choice. And tonight, more than two centuries later, it's because of our people that our future is hopeful, our journey goes forward, and the state of our union is strong. Thank you, God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. Welcome back to Right Winger. We were just watching uh, Barack Obama, President Obama, some people call him, uh, was giving a State of the Union speech January 25th, 2011. Uh, so I watched the whole speech, uh, not really impressed. Basically, it's everything I expected. Basically, there he is, shaking hands, all smiles, looking presidential. Basically, what I saw was he's trying to reinvent himself, and it's a good strategy. I'm sure he had a lot of people come and tell him, listen, you got the shellacking, nobody likes you, you're going downhill, you're never going to make it in 2012 when you run again, unless you make like you're running to the middle, you're going to be a centrist. So he comes out today talking about family values, talking about capitalism and how it's the American ingenuity and all of this that makes America so great and how we're the best nation in the world. All of a sudden he found he's proud to be an American, you know. He's proud of them rich white people, finally. So, anyway, so it was a bunch of hogwash. But what I found really appalling and disturbing was that he used a lot of people in the audience. There was a lot of people, like, he had, uh, he had, like, this guy that rescued the Chilean miners, and, and a Brock actually made it like, you know, he had something to do with it. And then the, the worst thing was he has this cancer patient, this kid that survived cancer with a shaved head in the audience, and Brock's trying to take credit for his saying, if not for his health care, that kid would be dead, pretty much is what Brock's saying. So, I mean, for him to use a kid with cancer to push his health care thing, I mean, that's really appalling. So, uh, he, you know, he lived up to his low standards that I have for him. So there he is, shaking hands, trying to make like he's really concerned about a lot of stuff. Uh, he was pushing a lot of uh, research money. Uh, he wants to give money for research and... He's pushing this energy that, you know, the new form of energy. He's saying, we got to get rid of that oil. That's in the past, and he wants to look for the future. But I was wondering, like, what about the present? Like, I'm using that in my car right now, and I think we need that stuff. So uh, the other problem is he just signed his deal with GE, and I have a feeling he, what, he, what he's talking about tonight was penalizing the oil companies, taking more money from the oil companies, probably taxing them more, and then... Uh, giving that money to GE. Watch this. Go on my website, www.therightwinger.com. Check it out. Anyway, there's Obama signing autographs. He's got two more years of uh, the celebrity, the good life, everybody kick, kissing his ass. And I'm sure a lot of phone calls are ringing right now. A lot of phones are ringing. People are saying, who's going to run against him? Who's going to run? I know who's running. Sarah.